uh, some of these videos, some of them are going to be just stories. Some of them I want to see if I can get you to make some distinctions in such a way that it makes life a little easier to live, a little more fun. Uh, I have found that if you can stay in present time consciousness and, and uh, make distinctions and see how to do that, uh, it's usually more fun. Uh, I was talking to my sister the other day. We, I, I've talked about the Zen uh, meditation enlightenment course that I did that was so effective for both my wife and I. And uh, my sister said, you know, I, I, I don't really care about enlightenment as long as I'm happy. And that's uh, along the way. That's one of the things that uh, if you can move towards self-actualization, happiness is not guaranteed, but it's easier to find because what... Maslow says is you, uh, a person who is, uh, has a tendency towards the self-actualizer, is, has a greater chance of resisting his enculturation, his or her enculturation. And one of the things uh, that I learned from my sister this summer was uh, something that she calls connect the dots. And she's going to send me the uh, lady. She found the reference for it. And my sister is a big advocate of A Course in Miracles. I've started it several times, never gotten through it. I've created value from it, I just have never finished it. Uh, but one of the authors talked about this phenomenon they call connecting the dots, which basically means that you, that little voice inside your head, that reptilian by nature, kill or be killed little voice that very rarely tells you anything good, uh, has this tendency to connect the dots and most times connect them negatively and most times attempt to connect them in such a way where there's somebody wrong. And I've talked about this before. Uh, you wake up in the morning, you're feeling pretty good, and then uh, all of a sudden you have a sensation of thought and something's wrong, somebody's wrong. Uh, if somebody's wrong, if, if something is wrong, somebody must be wrong because we were creating God's image and all that other enculturated stuff that we had to go through. Uh, and like I said in the past as well, if you're married, it's easy to know who's wrong because all you have to do is roll over and look and see <laughs> and whoever is laying next to you is wrong. But if you're out and you're doing something that's tedious and boring or something that doesn't please you, your mind is going to have a chance to become a little more active or maybe a lot more active. And there's going to be this tendency to what I've been saying is connect the dots. Well, if this meant that, then that meant this, and therefore this means, and therefore they need to be punished because of that. Uh, my nephew uh, borrowed a friend of his car. Um, in some states, it's called grand larceny. Uh, but his friend knew he had the car and stuff, uh, but a lot of people got involved. But a lot of the people that got involved knew that somebody was wrong in this thing, and they connected the dots, and somebody needed to be punished. And uh, whether that's true or not, I have no way of knowing I want to try and see if I can give you little cues as to, to when your mind grabs you and then ways to get yourself back to you.